Hey YouTube, what's up everyone? My name is Robert Q and I want to welcome each and every single one of y'all on my channel. Today we're just going to share some quick news about the whole Elon Musk Twitter stake and really what I think is going to happen especially with Dogecoin from here on out. So make sure to watch this whole video because I have lots of information to share with y'all. So Elon Musk just recently purchased a 9.2% stake on Twitter and that's worth about over $2.4 billion that one of the richest men in the world are spending to own a part of a social media platform where he's already implementing some slight changes for the company with the edit button and the Twitter blue subscription where users who are subscribed can use cryptocurrency aka Dogecoin to be used as a method of payment for Twitter users. And it's kind of crazy how he's already having so much power and influence on this social media platform when he just purchased this huge stake in the company. And it's also mind-blowing that he denied the offer to be a part of the board of directors for the Twitter company. And it's, it's understandable because if he were to take in that position, he would have been faced with more restrictions on what he can say and what he can do. So he can actually hold onto his position right now and if he wanted to, he could buy even more Twitter stock. And if he wanted to, he can own half of it if he wanted to. But it's a great thing that he has some power in Twitter now because we all know that Elon Musk has always been into tweets and memes and it's just his way of expressing himself with his genius ideas and his silly funny meme side so it's cool to see how he's taking action right now to really implement some changes that he wants to see for the twitter platform and i've been reading on the news lately that he actually purchased a part of twitter so he can help donald trump get back onto the election and to get back onto twitter because we all know that donald trump has been banned from twitter so we may or we may not know if he's really trying to help Donald Trump on this election and getting him back on Twitter. But there's been lots of news articles actually out. If y'all just check out all of this information, Elon Musk is really trying to help Donald Trump get back onto Twitter. And we don't know if this is true or not, but it's also kind of crazy because we, we kind of know how much Elon Musk liked Donald Trump compared to Biden because Biden has never mentioned Tesla at all during his whole presidency because he is more into union labor and aka he wants to rather support Ford than Tesla which is kind of stupid but I'm just going to admit the fact that Tesla is the leading EV manufacturer and car maker and company right now. Why is Biden focusing on Ford? Even though if you compare the Ford stock and the Tesla stock, you can see so much of a drastic difference on why Tesla is leading compared to Ford. It's all about the technology, the innovation, and that is what Tesla is about with Elon Musk too. He is an entrepreneur who is seeking to create a change where he can actually make a huge impact on the world compared to Ford who still are trying to catch up in the EV market. So Biden, what are you doing right now? Because if Elon Musk, one of the richest men in the world, are building such a strong and powerful company, why aren't you putting some of your attention to where it belongs rather than trying to support unions right now? We all know that Elon Musk does not like big tech censorship and that was what was happening with Twitter and Donald Trump because 
Donald Trump has been making lots of tweets and Twitter has been really shutting that down. So he actually got banned from Twitter and that's the thing that was kind of crazy where a whole social media platform can just ban the president. And the thing is, we all know the truth, which is Trump's social media platform, which really did well in the beginning. It went from $9 to $15 to $40 to $97 and now it's finally crashing is because Donald Trump has literally made one tweet on that platform that he created. Compare that to all of the tweets that he has made on Twitter. Why isn't Trump using his truth platform compared to Twitter as much? We know that the board of directors for that platform is really failing because apparently on the news, two workers from that platform actually were big help quit so it's looking like the truth media platform is going downhill from now and who knows if Donald Trump really wants to run for election again he may or he might not because of his whole family situation with their tax stuff we all know that Donald Trump may or may have not inflated on his tax bill and I want to see some justice come out from this because we do know that two of his son and his daughter have to go to court and really get that situated because if he has that family problem then how is he ever going to run for president again so I just want to let it out to all of you guys that Elon Musk has taken a part of Twitter so he could really make a change for one censorship of the social media and the edit button and the subscription blue for tipping their Twitter users. We might see some real significant changes for Twitter from here on out and that's the most exciting thing is to learn and to really see how social media can change over time with such great power. And it's really crazy how Kathy Wood, the founder of ARK Invest, has actually sold 90% of her Twitter stock right before Elon Musk bought so much into Twitter. And if y'all may not know, Kathy Wood is a huge holder of Tesla stock and it's just funny because those two just could have talked it out or something and made Twitter even higher but if y'all think about it they completely went opposite directions and I'm pretty sure Kathy Wood has said that she sold her Twitter stock because all of her ARK investment portfolios have been going down recently as well with the market. Ugh. Nothing in the market has been going well, so it's kind of stressful for all of you investors out there who have seen a huge hit in your portfolio this year, especially all of the traders. It's such a bad year to be invested, but it's a great year to be buying. So if you aren't invested yet, make sure you do some research and get investing because stocks and crypto are really low right now if you aren't taking the time to really think about what investments you want to hold for the future you're just sitting out on so much gains so i just want to wrap up this whole video by summarizing to all of you guys that elon musk is now officially the largest shareholder of twitter and whatever he says and whatever input he has for twitter they still have to put some value and thought into his ideas because he owns a part of Twitter and they can't do anything about it because he's one of their largest shareholders. He has so much influence over them now that he can get his people, his army, and his all of his supporters, he can round up all of his support and have so much power over Twitter now. So. It's kind of crazy how much money has so much power and it's just all because of one person.
So, I'm looking forward to see how Twitter will change from now on. And if y'all haven't yet, make sure to check out all of my channels and follow me on Twitter. <laughs>